This is what life is all about, baby. On the last episode, you saw us have our first tow. Here we are getting all set up for our first night in our brand new Road Warrior. And one of the best things about staying at campsites is you get to have a beautiful fire every night if you want to. Yep, that's our baby in the background. <laughs> we are at Santos Trailhead Campground in Ocala, Florida. Some of the best mountain biking literally out our back doorstep. And it's our first night in the Road Warrior. We've got a beautiful fire. And we got beer. Cheers. And just look at that beautiful beast in the background. Yeah, she's beautiful. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys see a full tour. It's <laughs> insane. So it's beautiful. The stars are out. You hear the crickets and the frogs. And it's just us, the doggies, and nature. Love it. We were super excited to see how the doggies would like the new Road Warrior. And they love it. Cool thing was teaching Ua how to use the stairs going up and down. She's now become a pro. Come here, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah. 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 Good job, boy. Good girl, baby girl. Good girl. Good girl. I love it. Good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. Coffee is ready. Now they were getting settled in, it was time to rent Cardo a bike and hit the awesome and epic mountain bike trails. <laughs> we're at Santos. We uh, are staying here with our brand new Road Warrior. And I got a monkey behind me. It's her first time mountain biking. <laughs> First time mountain biking. What do you think? Love it. She's doing great. These trails are awesome. I have missed this so much. I used to ride like every day and because of back problems, I've only ridden a few times in the last couple of years. So anyways, we're enjoying nature. We're enjoying the road warrior life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so awesome out here. I love it. This is what life is all about, baby. Current view. Not too shabby. There's my mountain bike chick. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're at the um, GMC dealership. We have trailer brake problems, so hopefully they can get it fixed so we can get on the road tomorrow, head back home, pack up the rest of the house, and get out of there. So, fingers crossed. We are hooking up for the first time by ourselves. Scary, because <laughs> all the crazy sounds. Lots of stuff to do before you uh, pull out, so it's kind of scary. <clears throat> we definitely need to put together a checklist Yes. Because <clears throat> you could easily forget something. I mean, mm -hmm. a, a step could be out, a, a door could be unlatched. When yep. you put the slides in, there needs to be doors in or out a certain way. So 
but we backed it in Caro helped me and we got uh, hooked up pretty easily so that is good our jacks are up so now we just need to hook up power and test it and we are out yep. still at the RV dealership the truck brakes and the trailer brakes are not communicating so we spent about a day trying to figure that out now we're trying to see what the fix is So we're still at Optimum RV. That's our uh, trailer there that we're gonna take home. They're letting us use it because they haven't been able to figure out the brake problem. So we're gonna have to drive home. Isn't everybody excited for that? Sure. <laughs> we're gonna have to drive home, yes. move out using that trailer over there. And then we're gonna have to come back up here and move everything from that trailer into our trailer. So. Lots of work. Lots of adventure. Yep. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? Yeah, gotta roll with it. Gotta roll with it. But, you know, these guys here, they've been good. I mean, you know, you can't blame anybody. Um, you know, it's a new technology and things just aren't uh, communicating properly, so. <laughs> It's something that's new to them and it's never happened, but you know, we have a brand new truck and a brand new trailer and uh, they're just not communicating. So, we gotta get them to talk. After two and a half days, we got our trailer issue fixed, our brake issue fixed, and uh, we were installing an aftermarket product, an uh, aftermarket trailer brake system, and um, to test it out, he had to remove the fuses um, when installing the other one the two fuses for the uh, brakes on the truck well he put them back in and boom our factory trailer brake system actually ended up working so after two and a half days so much aggravation and troubleshooting and waiting around we finally are getting back on the road and have to go home and move out so got a nice five hour ride home long trek but uh, we're gonna finally be in our home and we're gonna be having our first experience tonight staying in Walmart. Hi! Finally going home! Woo-ree! And home is the Walmart parking lot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Inside of our trailer. Yeah. Inside of our trailer at Walmart. That'll yes. be a first time. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon.